Calvin Ridley, this is a message for you. You're no longer welcome on the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I don't know what you're dealing with personally. That's not my problem. But the fact that you have chosen to go quiet about all of this and then all of a sudden now there's these rumors that you want to leave Atlanta, uh, it only makes the fans go against you even more. I mean, the fact that it appears now that you pretty much pulled a levy on Bell and sat out because you wanted to go to a new team because you couldn't handle the workload of being the number one wide receiver on the team. Uh, that's a problem. That's a problem. And that's not going to go well with Falcons fans. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping you come out and you say something to clarify the situation because right now you look like a disgrace um, to your team. You really do. And it, it, you just, it, it makes you look like a diva. Um, you know, you had your problems with drops early on in the season. You got held accountable for it. And at, right as of right now, it just looks like you couldn't handle the criticism. I mean, it must be nice to be the number two to Julio Jones, one of the best receivers in NFL history. But if you can't step up and at least do somewhat good in his shoes, look what Kyle Pitts is doing. Kyle Pitts doesn't even get targets and he makes it work. Cordero Patterson makes it work. Matty Ice, look at Matty Ice's whole career. And he's made it work after new coach, after new offensive coordinator, after new wide receiver over and over again, he makes it work. We got seven wins this season with a practice squad group of receivers. Matt Ryan complaining? No. Uh, Calvin Ridley is no longer welcome on this team. I don't, I, I honestly, I don't even care. Uh, I, I, you know, as insensitive as it is, I just don't care what he's going through. You have not once spoken to the people who are buying your memorabilia, the people who are supporting you from at home to let them know like, hey, by the way, I won't be back this season. Hey, by the way, I'm going through some stuff. Hey, by the way, expect me back next season, Atlanta fans. Hey, by the way, I don't think I want to play for this team anymore. You've offered nothing to us. And as a result, you've betrayed us. And you're no longer welcome on this team. And I think the longer the situation goes, the worse of a pick we're going to get for him. I hope we get a second for him. I'd gladly take a first, but a second is good enough. I'll take a second for Calvin Ridley. An early second round, early to mid second round pick. I don't want another late Tennessee second round pick that's going to end up being a, near a third round pick. I want a second round pick for him. So... Calvin Ridley, uh, it's a shame because you're an Alabama player. You're local. Um, you know, I think you had a great fan base, Atlanta Falcons fans. We loved you. We loved you, man. Uh, but that's just not the case anymore. You're 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 making a bad reputation for yourself. And I I don't even know what to say anymore. This is the Kyle Pitts show because now you forced us to take a wide receiver in the draft, and and that is unforgivable. That's unforgivable, considering how many needs we have. Get off of my team, Calvin Ridley. That's all I got to say.